as you did, Hazi. You know, the biggest question is the six million. Why didn't God let the Tzaddikim know? You know, before God destroyed Sodom, he told us all Abraham. Why didn't God tell the Rebbe? I want you to know something. When the Tzviyah the Kilobavitch Rebbe, when he passed away, and I'm sure it was one of the greatest funerals in the world ever. Like thousands, thousands. And at that time, I was very much into the Bavit, so I was walking right there. And the Kapitza Trevor was walking. I mentioned it before, but remember, but with, with, with the toothbrush cleaning the streets of Vienna. So the Kapitza said, I want you to know, God did not tell the rabbis that he takes away the Bavit forever. If you would have known, you wouldn't have let him. You wouldn't have let him. You see what it is? If any of the rabbis would have known, they wouldn't have let. But again, it's not true. Everything, I'm leaving story. You know, at the end of the First World War, some, sometimes we forget, we think that the whole the chefs began with the Second World War. But at the end of the First World of the First World War, in Poland and Russia, when they lost the war, right? And the peasants were complaining, why did you lose the war? The Jews. Everybody knows. Because the Jews talk Yiddish. Means they speak German. And every Jew was a secret German agent. So they killed Jews left and right. In fact, in a certain part of Poland, every Friday they hung 10 Jews and they said, these are the spies who made us lose the war. But here they had a blue One time they didn't kill 10, they hung out 25. So they came to the Heilige blue told them things are getting out of hand, they hung 25 Yidin. You have to open your heart. The blue jewel says, close the door, lock the door. He began smoking pipe. And the whole room was full of smoke. And they couldn't see each other. And he says, you talk to me about 25 years. In a time not so distant from now, that would be a joke. A time is coming, he says, when millions of Jews will walk in blood over their nose. Finish smoking, he said goodbye. This is the most unbelievable thing. The people walked out, and one says to the other, What did the rabbi say? Nobody remembered what he said. Nobody remembered what he said. After the war, maybe 20 years after the war, two Yid meet by the Holy War. I said, you look so familiar. Where are you from? Oh, he says, you know, the last time I saw you was with the Heilige Blutschewe. Then we complained about the 25 people. He says, do you remember what he said? He says, you know something? You know when I remembered it? When I was in Auschwitz. I remember the rabbi saying that millions of Jews would go. The other Yitzhak says, oh, so you're not crazy. 
I only began remember, remembering it when I was in Auschwitz. It's crazy. All right, what do we know? What do we know? But you know, this was like, like all the rebels that was before. But now, what we have to do, Mamish, we have to be so much the Simcha that they are even left. The Bezer Rebbe says that if there's a six million, Every Jew is the greatest monk in the world. Every living Jew is the greatest monk. And um, I will, Mamish God should give you strength to hold out. On one hand, God should give us strength we need to feel a little bit. Hmm. Have to tell you something awesome. Obviously, the children today are all the children from Auschwitz who came back. No question about that. I have to tell you an unbelievable story. One of my friends told me. He's teaching his children to say, you should love God with all your heart, with all your soul, with all your mind. The Gemara says, a feel a noise as nafshko, because when it says with a heart, it's with all your heart. With a soul, it doesn't mean with all your soul. But even if it takes away your soul, when you die for God, you still have to love Him. So, he has a little girl. She's three years old. They begin saying Krishna with her. And the first time they say, you know, she refused to say it. She says, I did it. Didn't come from her. And until she was six, she couldn't bring it out. Unbelievable. Then, after six. You know, sometimes we're angry at so-called non-religious Israelis. What do we know, right? You think all the soldiers today that are just high school graduates and uh, different Nishamas, right? Different Nishamas. Different people. I remember once I asked, I was in a school, non religious school. And there were some kids who really, really not into religion, right? So was this little girl, maybe 14, 15? Uh, do you ever pray? I said, do you ever pray? I was expecting him to say, you know, in the secular school, they don't pray. You know what she says to me? Do you know I pray with all my heart? What do we know, right? You see, today the relationship between all of us, between every Jew and God, between the world and God. So hidden, so deep. 
what they're in now. Bye. 